Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. Welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo. This is going to be episode two of our little series that we're doing. I had so much fun in the first one, I figured I would turn this into a little series. But I've just loaded into the game and we've got this little pop up. So let's jump into it. Uh, this says create work zones. Your animal keepers are inefficient, making your animals suffer. Create work zones for better efficiency by selecting each keeper and assigning them places to work. Maximize efficiency by sending more experienced keepers to enclosures that are larger and further away from the storeroom. Use the heat map view to review your zoning. Very cool. Uh, you guys, if you have followed my Planet Zoo series, know how terrible I am at uh, work zone, so hopefully we'll be a little bit better in this one. But now that that pop-up is gone, uh, first episode, we got our rabbits. We built this little enclosure. Uh, we have some goose geeses <laughs> coming in to this habitat here. Um, and I want to continue to go ahead and kind of build out our little, our little zoo here. So first thing I want to do is I wanted to see, yes, we can actually move this. And I would like to kind of move that there and then build up some pathing to it so that our keepers can get to the little storeroom. Um, I want to unlock a little more because I want kind of like, I know it's not going to work exactly uh, the way I want it to, but I kind of wanted to get like a little keeper path. Uh, like a, a path uh, texture that we use that we know is for the keepers and only the keepers. But this game actually has quite a bit of little like decorative things. And so I feel like we should explore that a little bit more. Uh, we got some signs. I want to unlock some like fences and things like that. But let's go ahead and just kind of put put some trees first around here. Maybe there's some trees right there so that they can't uh, quite see. Let me check on because we do have 11 research points. So let's see if we can unlock anything else in here. Uh, deco pack. So this is going to be animal statues. Plant pack. You know how much I love some plants. Cotton candy. That's going to be a uh, food shop. What's up here? Another. Oh, we already. Oh, that's a plant pack. And this is a plant pack. So bushes. And this one's potted plants. Uh, animal enrichment, I feel like, is a good one, and it's only one uh, research point, so I feel like we should get that one. And then, what is this? Bin pack. A penguin bin. Hmm. And this goes to energy pack, the wind turbine. What were we trying to get to? Farm processor. No, I don't want that. Warehouse. Unlock something next time, uh, next to this to learn more. So we don't know what that does yet. A processor and it's got a picture of a pig and some bacon. So I think we can assume what that is. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, let's do some benches over here. We got nine more points to spend. Ooh, floor pack. Yes, this is what I want. That. Uh, the savanna enclosure, five. Uh, signboard pack. Oh, I like these ones. These little navigational signs. What is this one? Oh, shelter could be good. This is for, for the animals. So I think that one is good. Let's do that. And then what is this? Subway pack. Ooh, subways are essential for larger zoos and allow your staff and visitors to quickly get from one place to another. Okay. So like, not like a monorail or like a train, but a subway. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, we can still get this signboard pack. I think that's a good idea too. And now we have ice cream van or, ooh, another animal enrichment thing. So leaf pile, cause this one just unlocked all the different color little balls. Yeah, okay, very cool. Okay, let's check. Uh, can we not do it while we're paused? Or can we not, oh, hello, news report. Uh, let's see, you may have noticed a large number of foreign investors arriving in the community recently. This is all due to our wonderful new zoo. The seed investor Kathleen is hoping to get more partners on board and has managed to grab the attention of a large number of wealthy individuals. Sweet. As a result, tour buses full of international business people who want to see the zoo for themselves are arriving. Are we going to get another VIP? Miss Lee said, this is a great opportunity for diversifying my portfolio. I can also avoid paying taxes at home by putting my money offshore in businesses like this one. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't really care about the uh, ecological side of the zoo. I just need somewhere to hide my money because I'm so rich. 
Okay, Miss Lee. Uh, you shouldn't be telling me that if you're wanting me to be a part of it. <laughs> um, okay, wait, hold on. Stop speeding up. Pause. Let's go check. I want to see if any new animals came up that we can adopt. Just more rabbits. I'm kind of inclined to like fill up our rabbit enclosure. Like I wonder how many we can because I feel like if we get here, let's get another girl and another boy because if we get more, then uh, I'm assuming we can use them to trade and also they should breed more, right? All right, let's check this. We got a little exclamation point on here for task. Did we complete something? We did. Finish task, finish task. Thank you so much. $1,500 is fantastic. Uh, hire a janitor. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, I have to remember how to do that. It wasn't in here. It was, that's guests, heat maps up there, settings. No, that's not what I want. There was a place, didn't we put down, is it this right here? Yeah, staff, aha, right here. So you, oh no, you're our animal keeper plus staff here. Recruit, didn't we have one? No applications yet. Current openings, total cost per day. Weren't we looking for a janitor? Let's see, open job position for applicants to apply. Um, admin cost, I thought we did hire one. That's why, yeah, are you sure you want to exit? Yes. That's why on here we should have our staff. What are you? I think that's our janitor. No, it says animal keeper one. Hmm. Hmm. But we completed that task, I thought, right? No, hire a janitor. We haven't hired one yet. So, wasn't it searching for one? Staff plus staff. Let's go ahead and we can't view because we haven't had any yet. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Estimated time. Yeah, I guess so. So just apply that and then we'll get some... We'll get hopefully some applicants. Um, let's go ahead and hit play. That way we can get some of our little animals in. We got some little bunnies and whatnot hopping around. We need to, as soon as these geese come in, we'll go ahead and put them in this habitat. But let's see, because I wanna make this a little bit prettier. We kind of just, kind of just put this down and willy nilly kind of decorated this. So I want to make like a little, little plaza area, I think, right when you come in, I'm just going to kind of randomly move all this out of the way. Cause then if we go to building, if we go to building and then we go to decorations, there's this little fountain, aha, and it does fit in the center. So let's do that. Then we can go to paths and we have this really pretty like cobblestone path now. So let's go ahead and just surround this as like our little entrance plaza gate area, I guess. Uh, I think that's a good idea. We're making lots of money. So let's go ahead and fill this all in and then maybe surround it with the, whatever this is, the brick, right? The stone, like so all the way down cool and then we can put let's go over here and get some benches white bench i like the brown benches let's put maybe on the edge like this on the corners like so and then we can maybe oh that's a good idea let's go ahead and take this no this same path here and kind of branch this off in this direction and then we can branch off in this direction too and branch off in this direction too. And that way it's kind of like a central point. Cool, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's get rid of this and kind of move everything back to normal, I think. Go ahead and move you to here. I think that's a good idea. Uh, didn't I have, oh yes, a tree right here. Let's go ahead and move this tree back over here. Aha, our geese are here. Um, maybe, maybe moving these guys right, right there next to the trash can. And then this one can be moved right here adjacent as well. And then we can put this trash can so that it is, uh, what's it called? Um, symmetrical with the other one. Great. Perfect. 
and then maybe another bench so that it's symmetrical with that as well. Oh, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> I like how at the end of the day, they just all like sprint towards the, uh, the bus. We'll put another one right there. Cool, very cool. Awesome, so we'll get rid of that. Let's move our little geese because these guys don't like the concrete fence. So move over to here. And can we move them both at the same time? Yeah, right there. Yes, please. Cool, okay, there's our geese over there. Fantastic. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so that looks a lot better, I think. Have a little bit of a, a space. We can actually move this because this is symmetrical with that. We can kind of put that on there. That looks good. And maybe branch off on either side, I think. That works. Let's see, um, we have only two research points. Let's see if we can get any more animals in here. This keeps flashing, but I think it's only because there's those animals there. Let's actually check, I didn't check. Well, let's see if any of these trading. So that's snake, right? That is, I think a pig. And this one is another snake. So wasn't there one? Yeah, this duck or I don't think it's a goose. It's, it can't be a goose because these are the geese and, and we uh, we can't do the trade. Um, so that's that's not them, but we need to get the snake so that we can get everything else, which would be which would be great. So what tasks do we have? Oh, let's check our uh, see how quickly this kind of brought in some applicants. We got some applicants. Oh, saving game. Total days business or total days in business six profit, current cash. Great, cool. Um, oh, hello, new task. Time to expand. I'm thinking of opening a transport dealership to sell industrial vehicles and buses. If you would like to invest a sum of money, I'll open up an account for you and ensure you are front of the queue when it comes to buying buses to service your zoo. Oh, I can donate. F Wait, is this Kay Sawyer? Is this a bad person or a good person? Oh well, I'll donate. $500, great. Reward, unlock buying buses at ticket office. Cool, okay. So thanks to an investment from the local zoo, Kay Sawyer has opened a transport dealership. He had this to say, I am so happy, not only will I be sending buses to the zoo, I will also be selling all kinds of other industrial vehicles to people in the area. That's probably not good for the environment now that I think about it, that might not have been the best morality decision. Oh well. Sawyer hopes to one day expand his business to include his other love, theme park attractions. But for now, looks like this Transport Tycoon's business will do fascinatingly well in the area. Oh, fantastically, not fascinatingly. Fantastically well in the area. All right, cool. Well, we got more buses hopefully in the future. Job postings, view applications. We got one applicant. We have Mariano almost one star mm, let's just go ahead and hire you sure let's make sure that you are paid a decent amount 110 is great uh what does it say i'm pretty sure this is a janitor right yeah okay would you like to hire would you like to close this positions yes close that position great awesome so then we should have we should have unlocked that task if we go to our tasks. Wait, no? Huh. Your current has become a rat infested den. Task completed for this person, one of five. But we didn't hire a janitor. I thought you were a janitor, are you a keeper? Aw oh, man, you're an animal keeper. So how do we, how do we get, how do we get a janitor? Is there another room I need to build? Let's go to buildings. Facilities. Nur oh, nursery. What does a nursery do? Use selective breeding to discover new animal types and help map each genome. Yes, let's do that. Let's put a let's put a nursery right over here. Yes, and hire Freddy. Let's pay Freddy a little bit more. Great. But wait a sec. Is there not? That's storeroom. Shops. Okay, we got shops. That's the subway. That's enclosure stuff. How are we supposed to hire? How are we supposed to hire a, a janitor? Huh. Hire facilities? Hire employees. Your shops and facilities all fully staffed with their maximum employee capacity. 
but we are being told that we have to hire a janitor. Well, I might make the bad dis- oh no, I can't make that decision now because this trash can, trash info, utilities, hmm, 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 let me see. I don't, I don't know. If we go, no, I didn't want to click on you. If we go to the storeroom, let's go to staff and let's go here again. And if we recruit, we can open it up. Uh, job portal, admin cost. What does this do? I guess it just makes it, we're going to get more applicants. Let's apply the changes and see if we get anything else. Maybe we just didn't leave it going long enough and we only got a keeper and not um, not anybody else. So let's do that. If we had any more animals show up. Hopefully. <gasps> Aha! So let's get this goose, because that's a fun colored goose, and put the goose in this habitat with these geeses. Fantastic. Now let me double check. Uh, you guys, healthy weight, mature... Y'all look satisfied, which is great. Okay, so we're not even close. Like, the, the exhibits can be fairly small. Because look at these guys can fit in there, which is awesome. Okay, very cool. And then our goose is going to arrive in one day. What can we do with you? Breeding. Pick a breeding pair. So we can tell them who to breed. Okay, let's see. Can we pick the goose... Aha. Okay. Let's let's do it. Breed you guys. Confirm. And then we'll do one with the rabbits as well. Rabbits. And oh man, how come we can't do you? Because we don't have a brown and a okay, I get it. So let's breed you guys. Confirm. Great. Your animal is already pregnant. Would you like to abort the baby and enroll? No, no. No, no. If it's already pregnant, that's fine. How can you tell that it's already pregnant? I didn't realize that you could you could tell that. That's a male, that's a male, that's a male. That's Eddie. I don't want Eddie, I want the other one. Oh, hello. End of week summary. Oh cool, this is the first time we've gotten an end of week summary. So current held money. Awesome. Salary payments. It looks like we're doing good. Loan payment is zero, but everything is income is good. I mean, there's no previous data for the past week, but everything is looking good in my book. Cool. Oh, profit for the day is not so good. We did lose money on that day, but that's okay. We have money. New task, seed fund two. Your next performance target is to have 50 customers in one day. Only then will I give you more capital. Together, we can make this business a success. So 50 visitors in one day. Oh, and another new task, research for good. So I have to keep an eye on the admissions for this region. I have some advice. Why not research some alternate power sources? Okay, uh, I think we, wow, goodness gracious, buy a bus. Kathleen convinced me to buy shares in your zoo and I have some advice. You need transport, a lot of transport. Essentially, getting people to your zoo leads you to have more customers. So let's go to the front gate and buy a second bus as soon as possible. Okie dokie, we can do that. So let's go over here to this front portion here. Oh, aha. So, aha. Okay, so this answers my question. Let's view. We've got 11 applicants. So you're one in a little bit of stars, one in a little bit of stars. I mean, I guess any of those guys, right? How about Emmett? Let's hire you. Pay you a little bit more. How about 65 is good? Higher? Yes. Okay, so that completes that task. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and do transport because we need to buy a bus. Buses in this route. Edit. Use. No. Lo order. Oh, order more. Okay, increase your capacity. 2,000, great. Oh, and we got 1,000 for it, so it really only cost us 1,000. Okay. Cool. Buses in service, two. And if we go back, now we can see times two. Okay, great. Fantastic. And then we should, where's my tasks? Should be able to complete this one as well. What was our reward for this? $200. Beautiful. 
And now we should be able to finish this one and get 50 visitors in our zoo, which would be great. Um, let's move this. I know I just moved it, but let's move it over here and then go to pathing. And I'm thinking we'll use, we'll use this, this brick circles kind of pathing for um, like staff, I think. I mean, I know the, the guests are gonna walk all over it, but this will just be kind of like our designation, oops, our designation for staff paths, I think, to help me kind of keep everything all together. Um, if we get rid of this, if I move this over to here, it won't get that one, but that's okay. There's nobody in there yet. So we'll just do that. That is very dirty. Um, how, again, it said we needed to create work zones, right? So we have you. Let's go ahead and click on you. Let's zone you to this habitat. Yes, this one. Okay, so that's good. That's uh, Lynette. So then if we go to our other staff and go to Mariano, I keep trying to click on the picture and zone you to our goose. Great, so that should hopefully help them keep track of where they're going. And then what did we need to research? Let's go, go to the research hub. There was something, ooh, the trampoline. Yes, I don't even care what else we were supposed to reach. Oh, this one is the one we were supposed to research. So we need to do the, the penguin bin. Sure, why not? But we need to get the more efficient energy or, or more environmentally friendly energy. Uh, 10 points for that. Okay, so let's, let's save up. But look at this, you guys. We have a trampoline. Oops, let me click on this. Oh, we got a baby bunny. Add objects, enrichment, trampoline and we can add this little trampoline in the corner and they'll go over and they'll bounce like crazy on it. Can we not, let's, I'm, I'm afraid that little thing, look at him go. <laughs> look at him bounce around, that's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Uh, enrichment, trampoline, we'll give the goose a trampoline too. And see, I keep trying to right click to get rid of the menu but it doesn't work that way. You actually have to click the little X. Ooh, look at our like exotic goose. Look at it. How cool is that? Where are our other two geese? Does it, oh, does it pull them off exhibit to um, to do their breeding thing? I guess it does. So two days, okay. Well, cool, look, we got a little white bunny. Let me check, I'm a, I really want new animals. So I'm just curious to see. We got another goose. Uh, Nah, I'm not really, not really excited about that goose. Where was that? No, not that one. There was one that kind of wanted a goose thing, right? It, we might, that might just be a different color of goose, but I'm not sure. But they would want the desert habitat, I think that is. Okay, so no new animals for now. No new animals for now. What does this say? Water length, oh, because we need one. I guess we'll just build a second one. Maybe we'll do, let's do this. We'll do, this will be like a little staff area and then we'll do another one. Oh, end of day, saving. Zero people could not fit on your buses. Oh, that's good. 22 felt like ticket price was too expensive. 46 people entered the zoo. Oh, we're so close to the 50. New task, we want to put a cute polar bear on our bleach bottles and add that we donate cash and cleaning products to the zoo to help customers understand our clean message. You really need to build some bathrooms though. Build at least one bathroom and not only will your customers be happier, we'll donate some money. What if we already have one? Oh, okay, great. It got completed. <laughs> I already built a bathroom. Um, but if we go to here and we go to facilities, oh, can I not? Max build, you cannot build more than one of this type of item. Oh, okay. I was thinking we could do one there and one over here, but I guess not. Where is, ah, uh, water pump right here. So we'll kind of just, maybe we'll hide a water pump right over there. That way it's, it's out of the way, but close to that habitat so it'll stop yelling. Can we lower our ticket prices? Ah, ticket price. Let's, oh, it's only $5. Well, let's lower it to, let's lower it to four and see if they get happier about that. 
because people seem to be kind of unhappy about the price of the tickets. Let's see if we can get any more animals. I know I keep checking, but I really want... Ah, cool, another cool color. Oh, and this one too. Let's get this rabbit and put them in this habitat, yes. And then go back and get that cool colored goose because maybe if we breed those two together, we'll have uh, different uh, color combinations that are possible. So that's cool. Is that their food? I guess so, because he just ate it. How much longer on our breeding? One day on the breeding, so cool. And then one day for that colored goose. Can we... I guess all the trades are going to be the same. But anyway, let's go. Let's do a little bit more decorating. Let's take the trees, uh, this one, and kind of do some beautification over here and maybe some planters here and here. We kind of block them in so they have to go to the bathroom <laughs> over there. Oh, and we can even do... We can do this kind of thing, huh? We can do planters here and that way they can't cross and we can kind of make it so they, they have to enter at certain locations. Where's our path? Because then I want to kind of delete delete this. Can I delete it? Um, That's factories. Goodness, that's a little scary. How am I supposed to delete... Delete... Oh, there we go. Delete that. Yes, okay. So there's, there's not pathing under there anymore, which is great. Awesome. Um, unlock the, oh, we don't have research points yet. We need 10 of them and we have five of them. So that's pretty good. Look at these guys go. <laughs> we have so many bunnies. And little poops, he's picking them up. Look at the baby one. It's so cute. Days of stock left, weight, contraceptive. Medical. It's such a cute little bunny. What's its name? Blanc Blanque. Hmm. Interesting name. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. Very cool. Cohabitation. I bet we can put multiple animals in the same enclosure as long as they get along with one another. That would be pretty cool. Heat maps. So this is our water. Our decoration. Oh, cool. Our decoration score is pretty good. And it does it. Aha. It does it by square. So decoration score is zero, decoration score is 35% over here. Okay, that's not too terrible, I guess. We got two bins that cover this area, so that area is pretty good. Lighting, so lighting coverage is 20% is good over there and zero on the other side. Collision. Oh, so this is where the guests can walk. That's cool. Uh, entrances. We only have, oh, that's showing all the benches and the entrances for the um, things, the buildings and whatnot. Okay, very cool. Well, look at this. Our little goose is right there. We have one more day. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit because I want it to be the end of the day so that we can get our second goose that we ordered. I hate saying ordered. Second goose that we bought. And then the breeding should hopefully be done on this day. Total business. So zero people could not fit in your park. Only five felt the ticket price was too expensive. So that's better. And 32 people entered the zoo. Okay, so hopefully we'll have a better day this day because we lowered the ticket price. Is this done now? It said one day. Five hours. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time to wait. 20 minutes for our next goose. Ooh, and maybe we can pull once they get inbound. Here it comes. Once they get delivered, maybe we can do... Excuse me, maybe we can do some breeding with that goose. Let's see. Aha. Oh, oh man. Oh, but no. Oh, it needs to come back. <laughs> Sorry. My brain just switched between a couple different thoughts all at the same time. That's why I said oh a bunch of times. Uh, we need a white goose to come back and then this one and we could potentially get a new goose or the two white goose to do that one. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we are on to something here. Did that finish? Let me see. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, what? Manage? Is it just is it popping out geeses? Where's my where's my baby? Success rate, one of one. Oh, saving game. Let's let's slow things down. New task, social animal. I don't see so many wild animals outside the zoo anymore, which is why I love to come here. If you can bring more into your zoo, that would be awesome. Get 25 animals. Goodness. That's a lot. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out this goose breeding thing. So nursing period, two days. 
production target paused, pregnancy attempts, births. Oh, nursing. So we have the baby is nursing and will be transferred to a public enclosure in one day. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. So these guys stay in here and then they'll just pump out, basically pump out babies into there. Interesting. Well, we have a new match for this one. So why don't we try this one? Cause it'll get a new, let's try it. Yeah, let's try that, confirm. And let's see how that goes. Yes, abort. I wanna do this breeding thing. Okay, cool. All right, fantastic. Let's check our world map. See if we got any new animal. <gasps> Look, new geese colors. This is the episode of the geese, man. <laughs> We're just getting all sorts of geese colors. Cool. Ooh, I wonder. Okay, let's speed it up because I wonder if one of those is the trade thing that we need. Is it this one? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. For snakes. Hopefully one of them is that. If it's in the zoo and we can trade it out. I feel kind of bad like buying it and then trading it out right away. But we need one more day. Uh, oh, aha, we have uh, energy pack wind turbine. Let's go ahead and do that because that completes a task and it gives us morality points. So what did we unlock? More animal enrichment, large ball and restrooms. We unlocked or can unlock potentially the brick restroom. Okay. Another news report. A spokesperson for the zoo was excited to announce a partnership with Wind Power Incorporated in uh, to undertake construction of green energy facilities at the zoo. The local power station conglomerate CEO had this to say. We do not approve of people generating their own power and not buying it from us. That's because executives like me earn millions of dollars every year for doing nothing much. And this threatens my uh, decadent way of life. Sure, we warm up the planet, but people love warm weather. The zoo plans to begin construction of their own power generators in the near future. Wow, this guy is just so blatant about the fact that uh, he does not hide the fact that he wants all the money and he's a selfish person. <laughs> we got $100 for that. Awesome, awesome. Okay, very cool. Well, uh, I kind of want to wait for our... Um, wait for our little goose to kind of pop out of the nursery and then the other ones to be delivered. So while we're waiting, let's take some of this path over here and, and kind of give this a little walking area because this is staff as well. And we can kind of, kind of connect it over there. Um, maybe some planters as well to kind of keep people um, I don't want to use this same plant all over the place. This one's kind of cute. Like that, I guess. We'll just put one of them. Maybe some lights. If we did have a lighting score that was not super great. Oh, okay, goodbye. Uh, one person felt the ticket price was too expensive, so that's good. Okay. Miss Lee, new task. Own more buses. More buses. Own at least four minibus on route Horizon Village. Own at least four minibus on route Horizon Village. Oh, okay. Well, I guess she wants us to buy three more buses, two more buses. Put a light there and there. And maybe, no, not up there. Maybe here and here. And I think that's good for lighting. Let's slow things down a bit. Getting too chaotic. We can still hit play. But let's see, did our baby goose get popped out? Breeding, uh, manage, three, okay, three hours. And, oh, 46% chance at that color goose. Oh, but our new goose got uh, delivered. Our new colors. Look at these. Look at how crazy it was going on the trampoline. Does that mean we could trade it? Yes, it does. Aha, we got snakes. Um, okay, let's not do that yet because we need to build that habitat and I'm pretty sure we have it already, right? If we go to building and habitat, yeah, it's the desert one. So what if, what if we do snakes? That's supposed to be um, staff stuff. What if we do snakes? 
I guess we can change it around a little bit. So hold on, let me, let me, we'll do this and this will be kind of the last thing of the episode. Let's move this over here um, for now because people don't need to access this. So we'll put it back there. The storeroom we want fairly close to everything, but we can, we can kind of put it maybe right here. And then if we get paths uh, and change out this red part, um, for this here, we'll bring this up. So this is where guests are supposed to be going here. And we can make a little, little kind of area there and then maybe connect this with some viewing for our snakes, I think would be good. And so then let's go to, oops, enclosures is what I want. Yes. And we can do we can do this kind of thing and just make an enclosure here for our snakes here and here and then we'll put let's see let's put the entrance right there great and then we can uh we'll put decorations here and here and this will be the viewing for our little snakes but then the the storeroom's nice and close okay cool let's go get out of this oops not delete mode no thank you get out of this go to here get our snakes trade our pretty goose which is a bummer but that's okay select you select and trade we got two snakes cool return to zoo put them in that enclosure use yes please and then we need to give them some stuff so let's add objects add water this water basin is my favorite so far so we'll put the water right there in the corner and then maybe some in, no, not view objects. I want to add an object, uh, enrichment, maybe a purple ball this time, purple ball and a trampoline in the corner. Oh, go away. Trampoline in the corner. There we go. All ready for some snakes. Uh, what? Tradable variant. You have an animal in your zoo that can trade with another zoo. Oh, that's the rabbit that they wanted. Okay. What animal can we get? <gasps> Is it? It's not the hyena, is it? Right? Was that an option? Let's just see. Goose, goose, goose. Oh, cool. One of these goose. Let's do that because we just traded that goose away and then we have it for breeding purposes. So let's put it back in there. Oh, who are you? <gasps> you want to paint one of my geese as a peacock? Hey, I noticed your geese in the zoo, but you know what's more exciting? A pea fowl. It's technically just a goose that's colorful with a fancy tail. I can make it the tail from paper mache and it'll be great. <gasps> no, I'm gonna say no to him. I'm gonna say no to him for now. I don't want one of my goose painted as a peafowl. That's lying. <laughs> uh, where, aha, here it is. Let's see. <gasps> Capybaras! Yes! Okay, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's pause. Let's get out of this. I don't know why this popped up. Wait, no, pause is what I wanted. And let's make a capybara habitat. Um, can we actually just, let's just demolish this, right? Can we do that? Can we demolish this? I don't know if we can, because I kind of want to make it, I guess not. Um, delete? No, that doesn't work. Delete? No, that doesn't work. Huh. Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. We'll leave it there until we eventually have an animal we can use for it. But if we take our path, let's take this path here. We can make a can branch off over to this side. We'll kind of go, um, let's actually delete that. And we'll go one more so that we can put some decoration. But then we'll come the down the back side of the geese a little bit. Get rid of that. Back side of the geese here. And we'll make this all, whoops, make this all a path. Right here and right here. Aha. Uh -huh. And then let's put our capybara up here. Enclosures, grass, and we can do one right next to it. So we'll come down here, we'll go over a little bit, up, over we'll give them a nice big habitat so we can have lots of capybara let's do that 
Nice, nice big habitat. And then the gate can be right here so that it's next to the next to the snake one. Oh, did we build it too close? Uh, oh, but we can move this. Oh, that's probably how, um, that's probably how we do it. Uh, with the other enclosure. Okay, so now we, now we know. Because we click on it and, what the heck just happened? How did we do that? Uh, oh, okay. That's okay. I was like, it's not going to go away. It's going to be blocking it. Um, but that's okay. That works. So now we can get our path again. We can bring this to the viewing there. We can make this a little staff thing, right? Because, um, let's delete that. Delete that. Oh, okay. Apparently not deleting that. Apparently it's putting over the top of it, um, but we can put a plant there and that's kind of like a little little keeper area, right? Because that's the gate for that habitat and the gate for that habitat is perfect. Let's get out of this and go to the enclosure, add objects, water, water basin. Ooh, perfect. We can add it right here and it's still within that water pump. And then we can add more objects. We have to have Capybara jumping on the trampoline, duh. So that is important. And then let's give him a red ball. Okay, very cool. Let's get our Capybara. I'm so excited. Let's see, trade, yes. Let's select one of you, great, awesome. Trade, we got two Capybara, return to zoo. Go to your enclosure. Beautiful. And we should probably, we should probably assign our staff to multiple habitats, right? So Lynette, let's do, Lynette is assigned zone, this habitat and this habitat will do. And then we'll go over to Marine, was it Marino? Marino was his name? I think was his name, right? This one right here. And we'll assign you not to this one, but to this one and this one. Cool. That works. Look at that. I'm good at work zones in this game. <laughs> Unlike Planet Zoo, I am good at work zones in this game. Alrighty. So we got one day. Let's go ahead and speed it up. As soon as we get our capybaras in, uh, we will we'll call it. That'll be that. Let's check on our nursery. See what's going on over here. Breeding. What is this? Does this mean we have a baby? Return to, uh, remove your animals from this breeding slot back to their pens. Um, nah, we'll leave, we'll leave the goose. We'll leave the goose breeding. And what about our rabbits? Manage, uh, 26% chance of a new one. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll keep that going then. Look at all these happy people. So happy. So happy. Let's do some decorating because we need to block this right here from people walking. So there's a tree. There's a tree. Great. And then we need some uh, decorations. Only 30 people entered the zoo. We probably need to buy more buses. Ooh, Kong gone. Uh, the mighty gorilla is no more. From hunting to habitat loss, the great apes have always been under pressure from mankind. And today, the last wild gorilla, a male known as Bubbles, was sadly laid to rest, making gorillas now extinct in the wild. An expert from the Global Zookeeper Society gave some hope. While these majestic animals are no more in the wild, we can still revive them. Through selective breeding programs in zoos, we can reintroduce these animals to the wild. Restoring the natural order of things can help correct mankind's unending war on, on the natural world. Oh, is, are you going to give me a gorilla? I guess not. Um, I want to do some... I really like this tree, but it's getting repetitive. <gasps> Forest fire, a burning concern. There's been a major fire in the forest nearby. We really need your help. Can you donate to us so we can rescue as many? Yes, of course. Rescue the animals. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what's, what's happening? Hello? Uh, I think it, I think it's upset. Oh, okay, yeah, use. 
Is that what we got? It was new capybaras? That was weird. It like glitched out for a second there. Look, we just got, we just got four capybaras. So that was, we rescued capybaras from the fire and now we have four of them and we have two snakes. Pop, <laughs> look at them bounce. How cool is this? Awesome. It's very cheap coming here. I will tell my friends. No, no. You will tell your friends that this is a reasonably priced zoo and they should come because we have many cool animals. But with that, you guys, let me go ahead and pause it here so nothing else happens and uh, sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really enjoying this one. Do leave a like if you're enjoying. Subscribe for more, because we'll do a little mini series on this. I'm gonna try to aim to get one a week out um, of this, of this little series. So we'll do one episode a week, um, but we've got some other stuff coming up to cover, so I gotta make sure that I have time for that. But yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you'd like to see more or support the channel, you can always subscribe. If you'd like to join the channel and support just a little bit more, there is a join button below that you can uh, get some fun little perks there. We do live stream on the weekends, typically Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you wanna come out, come hang out and say hi, you can catch me there. And until next time, I will talk with you guys in the next episode. Bye.